guys, so I know this is completely different than the norm, but I am filming with my phone and I feel like it's easier. So I just wanna go over what I'm using. I'm going to dye my hair red again, refresh it a little bit, because it's faded, got brown to uh, red, and some other color, and then my natural color, of course. So I'm just gonna go over what I'm using and show you the process and how I do it. Yes, of course, even though I'm a licensed cosmetologist, I do use box hair. Kill me. I use R57, it's like an intense medium auburn, and L'Oreal Paris Fiera, whatever. L'Oreal Paris Fiera Power Red is my go to always. I feel like it's the best for my hair, it doesn't dry it out, and so here we go. I know it's not required, I use my bowl brush, I'll developer, and color booster. Directions, of course, but I don't follow them anyway. And a little extra added on was a L'Oreal insert thing. My stuff out. I'm taking a little bit of cholesterol cream. Cholesterol cream. Looks like this. And I'm just taking a little bit of my finger and I am going to go around the outline of my hair. I don't want to have red. Let me see. Oh, let me show you. Little pieces. You can do it with chocolate, you can do it with cream. Or you can do it with lotion. And then there's the things in my eyes sometimes. Okay, usually. Oh, my ears, back here, neck area, just like it. Not stuck. Here's back your neck. I emptied the gel container, color container. It's more of like a liquid than a gel of anything. Um, so that's liquidy. The developer is liquidy. It's gonna be a little bit of a mess. That's why I have paper towels down. Okay, the next thing I'm opening is this red power color, color booster. This thing is like like a paint. It's like very liquidy. It's like a dye. It's like a uh, food coloring. It's not worse. This gets anywhere, it's going to stay. Um, on your hands, anywhere. I only add like half the bottle because I'm not trying to look like a bloody mess in the bathroom because this is very liquidy. It will just spray everywhere on the walls, least expect it. So I just, yeah, I'm just using this a little bit. This stuff honestly reminds me of blood that you like put on your makeup for Halloween. That's how red it is. It looks like I'm just doing the bottle. So I'm just using half of that because I'm not trying to kill my hair. I'm not trying to kill my hair. Oh, it's fun to wow, look at this light. I haven't filmed in my bathroom since like 2010 and obviously it's a new bathroom. Good thing I have these mirrors that come open and I can lay it on the shelf. Wow, look at that light just bouncing off my forehead. This looks so bad, but that's not the focus. The focus is my hair, so just don't look at my five finger forehead, okay? Now I am mixing the mixture together. It looks, it's very liquidy, it's very red. The face I make next is absolutely hilarious because I got a really strong whiff of it as I was mixing. You could just hear Kevin Hart screaming, she wasn't ready! Very red. And the smell isn't too bad compared to um, the cheaper brands of uh, box color that I've worked with. Mind you, if you don't know anything about me, or if you don't know me, you'll know that. Now, I do not like working with color. It's very rare, so I don't work in an actual salon. I work at a haircutting place only. I feel like I love when the colors are nice, but they're not permanent and they grow out and I feel like it's a waste, so I don't feel great to do that. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around the outline of my forehead and this is so weird to notice in my mirror. I mean, in my phone I can see, but I have a mirror there. I really only need a rude touch up, so I'm probably not gonna use all the color that I put in there. I'm just gonna pull it through. And if I end up using all of it, I'm definitely not leaving it in for like 35 minutes. I'll leave it in for like 20. Oh look, see, this is why we put this stuff on your face. Because cat will always, always, and if you're like me, I will always get the color on my skin. It's like flaming red right now. my widow's peak. Yep, and I got it on my ear. And you kind of just want to go under. Cool. Okay. Now that we got around the face. I usually don't use the back of my neck. I usually don't do the back of my neck because I can't see it. So. I'm gonna make a center part. 
you can see. Now I'm gonna go down the center. I try not to get it on my scalp too much, but it's like inevitable because this stuff is so liquidy. And it kind of sticks to your scalp. First couple of times. I just said like the roots. Oh! I didn't really put it on my eyebrow, but you see that? This is what I do with. Depending on your hair, I take about an inch or half an inch. Depending on your hair, you might want to take more sections or less sections, thinner sections, depending on if it's thick. Okay, so now I'm just finding spots that are dry and I'm just now seeing them in the hair dye. Okay, now that I released the beads out of the hair dye, I am now gonna rinse it. How dark my eyebrows look, oh my god. So bring you guys with me to see how well this works. So this video doesn't finish, it's because I dropped my phone. And so, here we go. Okay, so this is the final look. Obviously, my color and the light is making me look super red. I'm not that red. But this is the normal white light now that it changed. And I got the roots and... Oh, I'll turn it back to that color. Got the roots that I wanted to get. I got my gray hairs. You know, I just refreshed it. Pulled the color through so everything matches. And that's it. Now we're going to go back to super red. <laughs> Subscribe!